think of a normal microscope. It takes pictures, 2D. But with our new microscope, we will be able to take a 3D scene, like a hologram from Star Wars, and that as a video. I'm Florian Ströll. I'm a project leader here at UIT, the Arctic University, and my work focuses on developing the next generation of microscopes. Microscopy is the study of things that are too small to see them with your bare eye. And it probably started around two or three hundred years ago when um, people actually realized you can put lenses in a certain configuration to magnify things. They didn't have photographs, of course, back then, but uh, there was one English guy who just looked at small animals, insects and so on, and drew pictures of them. And that became the first scientific bestseller. At the moment, you have microscopes that can do a lot of things, but there are still some areas where a lot of research is required. And unfortunately, that's the areas where other disciplines, especially medicine, require our help. And that's where SOLIS is. We're trying to fill the gaps. SOLIS is a project at the crossroads of physics and computer science and also medicine. In essence, what we're doing is we're building the next generation of light microscopes. When we started with the project, I had an idea in my mind. In my mind, the microscope worked. But that's not good enough to get a, something going. So I built a very rudimentary prototype that showed that there is potential for the, the project. And currently I'm working on the, the latest version of the prototype that actually will be able to take really good 3D images on a regular basis. And the way we do that is by having a sheet of light. Imagine that you have a sheet of paper. It's just made out of light. And you can use that to scan it over your sample while the camera is recording. So every single frame you have like everything scanned up. And on the camera, what you receive is then the whole volume that the laser was scanning. We are working with um, the university hospital. Um, they're looking at heart diseases and generally the heart. If you have a heart failure, heart damage, then the heart, of course, tries to repair itself. It's not completely understood how that works. And that is exactly where we want to look into details. If you know how the heart is repairing itself, maybe we can help it. The optics group here at UIT is probably one of the biggest and best in all of Scandinavia. And the innovative spirit here is, is really providing a lot of motivation to go through that very painful process actually of commercialization and innovative development. I think Solis can benefit a lot from this setting. And benefit the world. And benefit the world. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see this in every single research laboratory. <laughs> <laughs>